welcome to part three of Resin Porn. Let's hope that this time goes better than that disaster last time. So we're still using the same bottles of resin as you can see and the same safety gear, nitrile gloves and a fume rated mask. The mixing system however I am going to change, instead of using two measuring cups I'm going to use these two instead. You'll see what I mean. Right now I'm checking the thickness because I'm going to be pouring the thinner liquid into the thicker liquid instead of the opposite, which is what I've been doing. Hopefully that makes stirring and mixing a lot easier. As you can see, the B liquid is the thinner one, so it's going to go into the pouring container, whereas the A liquid is going to be the mixing. We're going to pick a different color this time, and we're going to select the color through random chance. Whichever color pops out when I stick the old color back in is what we'll go for. So let's see what we get. All right, and we got a yellow. All right, lemon yellow it is. Unlike last time, however, we will be doing a different mold. We'll be doing a full set, as well as a dump mold. And a few others I have stashed away because we are gonna do a lot of resin. Starting with the A side, we're going to pour it directly into the mixing cup itself. And I'm going to end up going up to a 100 with the A and B side, equaling 200 milliliters of resin total. Now that the A side is poured, we're going to move on to the B side. Just like the A side, we're going to be pouring 100 milliliters into this little container. And now it's time to mix. To mix it, we'll be pouring the thinner B side into the A side, which would make things a lot easier. Well, we're just going to empty that out using the stir stick to clean out the sides. Very gently, I'm going to begin stirring the mixture in order to not introduce air bubbles. Keep things slow and gentle the entire time. For total this time, I mix for approximately five minutes and it turned out perfect. This time I watched the liquid or the resin go from a cloudy back to clear. That's how I timed it. And now that it is clear again, I decided to stop stirring and add in the color. As this is new dye, I will have to cut open a hole, so, and we're going to give it a test drop on my bench here. A little drop, and we got a new stain. I think I'll start staining it from now on. A drop for each dice. The amount we put in here will be four, but I only want it to be a light tint of yellow. Being nice and gentle, I'm going to mix the color in. So that way the resin is tinted yellow. Being as gentle as possible so I do not introduce any air bubbles. The dice mold this time is a full set of seven in a cat mold style that I found on Amazon. So I'm going to test it out, see how well it does. I'm going to slowly pour in and pour from a higher elevation to minimize the bubbles. And since I did a much better job at stirring this time, there are much fewer bubbles. So I'm just going to finish pouring up these molds and we'll see how it goes.
I am going to be pouring more resin on top of the cap just to ensure there is enough resin for the voids to be filled in in case there end up being voids. I hope there isn't it all turns out good this time. Third time's the charm. In all, a full set of seven dice used about 50 milliliters of resin, which is good to know for the future. Yeah, but now I still have 150 milliliters left, so let's start pouring into my dump mold. Hopefully when all these are finished curing, they turn out nice and bubble free. Another mold I have is a pyramid, so let's see how that goes as well. We still have more resin, so let's add in a little bowl to go with it. Okay, and let's just pour the rest into the dump mold. Alright, that is all the resin poured up. We'll give these things 24 hours. New clip after the fact on a method of getting rid of bubbles that isn't fire. I read that you could use alcohol, so I filled up a bottle with isopropyl alcohol and sprayed them. It worked like a charm. Even 30 minutes later, I have not seen any bubbles, except for the ones that were already in the resin. And just going off of that, this is by far my best batch. I am definitely improving, but we'll find out tomorrow. It's been 24 hours and all I can say is wow. These really cured nicely rock solid and make a really nice sound with each tap. And this is by far my best attempt yet. So let's unmold them, starting with the bowl. Hopefully it looks good. And perfect. Not a bubble in it. I just can't believe this is my third attempt. All I did was just change how I mixed and that this much of a difference. Okay, what else? What else should I? What should I do next? What should I? What should I demold next? Let's go with. Let's go with the pyramid. So I actually bumped the pyramid earlier, and there was a void at the very tip. Also, the pyramid was really difficult to get out, but there's a little void at the tip. You can see there. That's because I bumped it when I was moving after pouring, and a little bit of resin fell out. And you can see that there. So that, that does suck, but other than that, clear. And just, I'm still speechless on how I was able to do this on my third try. No pressure pots, just mixing. Just better mixing. Next up, we'll do the dump tray. Now the thing about the dump tray is it has a giant film, as you can see. It stretches all over everything. So I did put a bit much resin, 
and was not that careful. But it's nothing a pair of scissors or some ripping you can't deal with. So let's pop this out and see what they turned out to be like. Look like. See what they look like. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Let's see how they turned out. Something tells me they're going to be, yep, just like everything else. Nice and clear. That isopropyl was the smartest move. Because all those little bubbles that would have been there on one edge are gone. I'm definitely doing the isopropyl from now on. Here I am a bit worried about the flashing and right where the lid is. Like is there going to be a little bit too much resin there and we're not going to... Like the dice are going to be warped or something? I'm a little bit worried about that, but hopefully it's a non-issue. The connecting resin can just be torn or cut, so it's not really a problem. Just a bit of cleanup work is needed. If anything, it's just some waste. Cleanup is very, fairly easy with a pair of scissors, so it's just effort and time to really clean these all up. But all in all, they turned out pretty nicely. I am very happy with how everything turned out this run. Now that the mold's fully empty, I can move on to the dice. The real thing that I'm trying to practice. Hopefully they turn out better than my previous two attempts. Let's, let's just see. And, oh, okay, okay. A little bit of bubbles on the surface because I never sprayed them with the isopropyl. But all in all, very nice. Almost no bubbles throughout the entire dice and they're transparent. Exactly what I wanted. Except the color didn't really come through. But I only did use a few drops. So it was never really meant to be fully colored anyway. But I am really loving how these turned out. I think as you can see a few bubbles here and there. But overall, my third attempt, next time I'm spraying the cap mold with isopropyl alcohol before putting the cap on, and hopefully that will remove those surface bubbles you can see. Okay, let's line these up and set everything else around them. We can get a good picture of everything I've made so far or so far in this video, at least. Some dump mold stuff, the pyramid, more dump mold things, a heart, and the dish, which is really nice. I do like that bowl a lot. Let's try to sand down those bubbles. For this I'll be using Zona paper and I'll be doing wet sanding with a pipette and a little cup of water off to the side. So what I'm going to try to do is sand it down so there's less bubbles on the surface for inking. But well, you'll see. Come on, focus. Camera. Okay, there we go. What we're going to do is we're going to drop some water onto the paper. A little bit more than that and we're just gonna go 50 times in a circle and that should be 50 a little bit more I guess well I only went 50 for most of them but I'm gonna do this for each individual dice only on the one face though because I just want to get rid of the bubbles so, two three, all seven dice I'm going to be doing this with. Okay, 
All right, zone of paper has six layers, so let's start on layer two. Doing the same as before, 50 times in a circle for each one, for every face you're sanding. Very time consuming, but it gets a mirror finish that was not needed because my pour already had a mirror finish. The only thing I'm trying to do is remove the bubbles and it, it doesn't really work anyway. This was just a big waste of time, but I'm going to do it anyway. Now that we're almost finished, do you see the problem? Do you see an issue? Because there is one. Count the dice. Yep. Where is it? It dis I lost a dice. And I don't realize it until I'm finished. Nope, we're just coming to the end and... We're gonna move everything and where's the last dice? Do you see it yet? There it is, behind the water cup. Really? From the very start. So now I have to line out all the paper all over again and do this one dice, one side on each time. Luckily it doesn't take that long. I was able to do it very quickly. But as you can see, nice and polished. Whereas before, it was fairly cloudy from the first and two sandings. This goes to show how good Zona paper is. The sanding may not have done much for the bubbles, but we're gonna ink it anyway. And so I'm gonna be inking one face on each dice, and then do the rest off camera. Because it took me a good hour just to do this inking phase. Here you can see the bubbles fairly easily, but what we're going to do is we're going to dab onto the little opening right over the two, dab and get some acrylic paint in there. And once it's all nice and filled, we're going to grab some paper towel and wipe that off. So nice and filled, grab my paper towel and wipe it off. And we have a nice little too, and we've highlighted bubbles already. So you can really see the bubbles that I'm talking about, how sanding didn't really get rid of them at all. So all I did was just dress out my arm for nothing. But that's alright. All I'm going to do is just finish inking these in now. Wipe them off, and they're looking pretty nice. It does look very clean, I have to admit. I really do like it. Well, I hope I like it. Yeah, except for that. Those, all those bubbles. Well, ignoring those, it's fairly nice, fairly clean. 
by far my best attempt yet. Let's ink up one face on each thing on camera and finish up all the inking. This is a time lapse of one face, the most bubbly face of each dice I'm going to be inking in on camera. And I'll just do all the rest off because it took me quite a while to do all this. And that would just add unnecessary time to the video lane. So we're already at 21 minutes here, so... And we're finished, okay. And as you can see, there's a lot of paint everywhere. But, I gotta admit, I am liking it. A little bit messy from the bubbles on a lot of them, but... Well, it's my best attempt so far, but it will not be my best ever. Next attempt will be even better. I can guarantee it. Well, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.